Trinidad and Tobago achieved the highest growth in exports in Latin America and the Caribbean, according to a report by the Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, ICLAC. Trinidad and Tobago experienced an estimated 69% increase in exports and the Caribbean on a whole saw exports grow by 38% according to the report. In a release, the Trade Ministry says this positive growth in exports is reflective of the work of the government and the private sector in advancing both energy and non-energy exports. The ministry adds that according to data from the Central Statistical Office in 2022, Total exports were estimated at TT $83.2 billion, which far surpasses the export growth in 2019, valued at TT $48.6 billion. The ministry says this represents a 71% increase in exports. Volvo Motors has launched its C40 and XC40 electric vehicles. Senior Vice President of Massey Motors, Jean-Pierre Ducoudre, gave some details at the launch on Thursday night. With a fully electric future in sight, there's no surprise that Massey Motors is eager to support the latest technology and continue upholding Volvo brand's core values. The company is expected to introduce 10 charging stations by the end of this month, and it will be available for all of its customers as well as other electric vehicle owners. Also on Thursday, restaurant and lounge, the bungalow, was officially reopened after an extended closure. The restaurant, like most of the food and beverage industry, suffered massive losses as a result of restrictions during the pandemic and was last opened in 2021, as the owners opted to do renovations as opposed to reopening following the lifting of restrictions last year. Executive Director Angela George admits it has been a long road back for the restaurant. While we were going through the challenges and delays, I remembered a simple but profound quote from the great Dr. Martin Luther King. If you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving. Social Development Minister Donna Cox was on hand to cut the ribbon at the ceremonial opening of the restaurant. The bungalow team says they were also grateful to reopen now so that they can catch some momentum during the carnival season. Peter Christopher, TNT3 Business Watch.